Vegemite veracity. The time has come for, for <laughs> six foreigners to taste Vegemite for the first time. And by six, I mean five. I mean, he's had it before, she hates it, she refuses to have it. So let's just establish the numbers beforehand. What is your thoughts on the smell of Vegemite? Um, it's like soy paste in Korea. It smells like, yeah, really similar, similar to paste of soy paste in Korea. Guys, just a quick consensus. Is eating soy paste raw a delicious thing in Korea? <laughs> yes, Definitely not. Yeah, when, when we make soup, it's okay. When we make soup. Yeah, yeah, you, you mean just... Yeah, but I mean, well, you know when you raw bake a cake and you get the soup. icing and scoop it out with your finger? Oh, oh, you do that yeah. oh not at all. That we are putting the soy paste on the that with mix? Well, you can put it on the wheat beaks if you want. Just as a quick side note to all the viewers of the pod who missed the uh, listening of it, they have the option of putting Vegemite on wheat beaks, thus making the most Australian sandwich of all time. <laughs> if they don't, they can just have it raw. It's up to them as part of the Vegemite challenge where they win a mystery prize valued at fifteen ninety nine, purchased at Coles. Good deal. So would you like to go for your scoop? And remember, the bigger the scoop, the more chance you have of winning the fifteen ninety nine prize. Yeah, I go for it. Get in there, Kev. That is a face of either uh, satisfaction. I don't think I can swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> Distraught as he buries his hands into his face. He doesn't want to be seen. Kevin, can you please just describe to us what's going on in your mouth at the moment? Is it like there's a party inside and everyone's beating each other up? Oh, uh, actually, I don't puke. <laughs> <laughs> Said with a toothy brown smile. As we move on to the next person in the Vegemite challenge. Who's next? I'd like to try more. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it! And she scoops it onto the wee pigs, making the most Australian sandwich of all time. Okay, can I just say, what an Australian. She's more Aussie than me. I hereby revoke my citizenship and give it to, what was your name? <laughs> I add just a small amount, so I, th I think it's okay now. Okay. <laughs> Amazing! She likes Vegemite! We have incontrovertible evidence that a foreigner thinks that Vegemite tastes okay! <laughs> Except for it's clearly obvious that she's eating the butter, because if we can, uh, the margarine, because if we can just get that on shot, it's <laughs> like margarine to Vegemite ratio. Spread small. Small. Please. That's a nice little dollop there. I would say that you should strike Kevin's advice from the records. He doesn't know what he's talking no. about. He just doesn't understand Veggie Bite the way we do. Nonetheless, he decides to take Kevin's advice. Good work. Showing solidarity in your fellow countrymen. <laughs> no. Go for a spoon. That is a very nice... Can I just say, that is really pretty, and I think that that should be <laughs> the next Australian flag. Would you not agree, cameraman? <laughs> 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 that looks a lot better than the Olympic Jack. <laughs> Ladies, you're fools. Wait, to the camera, to the camera. Show your disgusted face to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> to those listening at home, she shook her head in utter disgust. Let's find out why. You do psychology, let's break down the analysis of it. Why? <laughs> well, what's going on there? It's not good. It's salty and oh, salty <laughs> No, it's alright. I really don't want to have wee beast mixed on Vegemite. I don't think any Australian has done that before. And they still have it. None of these people have citizenship. But apart from that, that is just an amazing effort. Look at how much these people are embracing the Australian culture. That is a smile that just says, I am who you are. We are Australian. What do you think about it? It's not as good as before. How much does it decrease putting it on wheat beets now that you've had it on both bread and wheat beets? Why, wh how much worse is it? What would you rate it when you had it on sourdough? Out of... Ten. Ten? Okay. Uh, six. Six. What's this? Minus. Minus? <laughs> it goes into minus. <laughs> this is one of the most disgusting things you've ever had in your life, and if someone wasn't jabbing a microphone at your face, you'd put your fingers down your throat and gag it out. Not that bad. Well, that's minus. That is <laughs> minus. Would you have you to be more polite? Try? Do you want to try? <laughs> 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 yeah, that is horrible. That is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Minus is an understatement. Minus 600. 
whatever the temperature is in Siberia right now, that's what this is. <laughs> that's the same level. You're absolutely wrong. But at the same time. I think we can all agree that uh, Vegemite Veracity, Kevin is the winner. Hands down, ate the most Vegemite by far. A spoonful, didn't even put it on the Vegemite. Now, Another part of this very enlightening cultural experience as a piece of ve <laughs> veggie bite of wheat bed falls out of my mouth that has been half chewed. I'd like <laughs> to say to you, Kevin, being pale is attractive in Korea, isn't it? Yeah, true. Well, as I've kind of given it away and alluded to, not in Australia. So I have given you the opportunity to have an instant fake tan right now as part of the 15. <laughs> Would you do it? This is Deep Bronze instant lit tan in a lit hand. There you go, there is more French words in Australia. I've been proven wrong. I'm, I've already tanned. <laughs> 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 the tanner the better. Basically, we want you to look like an 80s leather couch. And that you. is what is attractive in Australia. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Are you willing to do it? Because, man, if you do it right now, I will do it as well. I will make myself. Okay, do it. Let's do it From this to this, you're listening to the UNSW Art Podcast. Thank you very much for tuning in for the fourth episode. <laughs> Thank you.